We're here in Mogo on the southeast coast of New South Wales. My mates here, Gloria and Kevin, are going to show us around. Guys, we've got a new trail network. Why the long face? Which trail is it, Nick? Big Dog's Bones. Nice. Pretty cool start to the trip of 76 kilometres of a network started at the moment, but a bigger network to come? Yeah, massive network to come. So there's set to be 130 kilometres worth of trails here at Mogo with some point-to-point -point adventure trails off Mount Wanderer. So pretty sick. It's going to be awesome. Ready to get into it? Ready. Let's go. Mogo is located two hours from Canberra and three and a half hours from Sydney and is the third destination on the southeast coast of New South Wales, along with Naruma and Eden. As you go further up the hill, the loops join each other and you go from sort of super easy, easier, a bit more challenging, but more interesting, a little bit harder until you get right up onto almost like the top of what's like a bike park area. On the other side of the highway, out the western side, we've got a slightly different geology type and there's a lot of big granite rock slabs and it's quite rocky and we've got a decomposed granite base. So as you move through the network, your experience will be vastly different depending on where you're riding. Mogo is located on Yuan country, known for its beautiful ranges and coastal plants. We are at Mossy Point, Mogo. We're going fishing. We're going fishing. Excuse me. 
me, guys. Do you know where the dirt jumps are? No? Nah. All good. Don't worry about it. Rocky Trail Destination, the same guys behind Superflow and Rocky Trail Academy are also the principal contractors here, which is awesome. Construction's being looked after by the crew at Next Level. Really exciting to have them on ground because I, word on the street is they are what has contributed to the special sauce that's made Mogo so unique. I uh, retired to the south coast about five years ago, leaving Canberra pretty bummed out because there's so many great trails up there. And about three weeks later, the fires hit, and then not long after that, they announced brand new mountain bike trails right here. And I live like 10 minutes that way, sort of falling backwards into a very good mountain biking situation. Council, the proponent, they recognise that these types of networks bring a huge economic development aspect to the local community. 98% of the, of the network is located on Forestry Estate. They've been great to deal with and we couldn't have done it without their support. We're making sure that close to the trailheads people are having a really good experience. There's a very low barrier to entry. Further away you get, you get into the harder stuff, but you never get to a situation where you ride a blue and you end up on a black to get back to the car. It doesn't take long on this new stuff when it's so well built to get that progression and I've had, I've felt it myself where I'm better at the bottom of a trail than I was at the top. We're doing some work as a club to bring some of the local community here in Mogo Village into the mountain biking scene by getting their bikes fixed up, getting a fleet of bikes they can borrow, teaching kids how to ride safely and you know, opening the doors to the local community here as well because the mountain bike world's about to descend on them and we don't want the very locals to feel that they're sort of shut out of that. So bringing them right in on that from the start is very important to us. My favourite bit was where it was just up and down. Yeah, because it's fun. That's what I need. That's what I need. We have had an absolutely amazing time here at Mogo for the past 48 hours. The trails here are pretty sick. Keep your eyes out for Sea Order 2025. It's going to be awesome. And boys and girls, start your engines because Mogo is a go-go. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Get out of my way. I was actually a fish in my former life. No.